We've never allowed any crisis from the Civil War straight through to the pandemic of 17, all the way around 16. We have never, never let our democracy take second fiddle. We, they, we can both have a democracy and elections and at the same time correct the public health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. I can't do this. I'm going to sleep. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! What in the world is going on in America? So hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me try to understand something. So, Joe Biden, you don't even know what year it is? Dude, it is not 1861. What you mean, the Civil War? If it really was 1860, Abraham Lincoln would kick your behind because you still wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> I, I just don't understand. I don't. This is... This is straight up elder abuse. This is what this is. And Joe Biden's wife, she needs to be charged with elder abuse for letting her husband out like this and talk like this in public. This is not okay at all. You don't do this to your loved ones knowing they got problems. But you know what? Since don't nobody else want to examine Joe and find out what's wrong with him, then I will. Okay? So, Joe, listen up. How many fingers am I holding up? Joe, that's that's two, not ten fingers, Joe. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I'm trying to figure out if you fit to be the president or not. Okay, Joe, how old are you? Five. Joe, you are 102. You are not five. <laughs> Joe, you are not fit to be the president. Seriously, you don't know what year it is. You don't even know where you're at probably right now. You probably don't even know your name. You don't know how old you are probably. Joe, stop. Joe's family members, take care of your loved one and please stop this madness. Please stop it. It's not okay.